Hey everyone, today I am going to be doing another update on my sample project pan. I am doing three project pans this year and this is one of them. This is actually the one where I feel like I have the most movement in just because it, they're samples so they're a lot easier to go through. Or so I thought. Um, I did use up a couple of samples this past month or two. Has it been two months since the last update? I don't know. It, it's possible. So I did use up a couple. I'm still working on some and we will also be rolling some new ones in. So we've got one more month, right? Yeah, one more month <laughs> to finish this project up. And really for this particular uh, project pan that I'm doing, I'm not tallying everything up in the sense of trying to get to a certain number of samples by the end of the year or anything like that. This project is really just to work through what I have and to track it and have progress with it and just feel more excited about using these products up. So let's get started with the makeup. And unfortunately, there's not much progress here, but I am still gonna share with you a couple of my thoughts on the newer product that I brought in last time. So let's start with that. The Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Little Trio Sample. Unfortunately, I've only used it twice, which means that I've actually only used two of the colors so far. So I still have yet to try out Metallic Taupe, which is the um, metallic kind of golden color here, which I feel like I definitely want to try that and I will use it. I'm sure I'll use it in December because I have holiday things, right? Well, a couple anyway. I will try it out this coming month, so I will have my thoughts to share with you next update on that one. But I have tried Amethyst and Au Naturel. Now, Amethyst, I, I mean, it is purple and it is a darker purple, so I don't really know what I was expecting from it. But it definitely came out darker than I had anticipated. So I, when I used it, I put it all over my eyelid and it was dark. Almost looked like I got punched in the eye a little bit. So I need to play around with that one a little bit more. Maybe I just use it on like the outer portion of my eyes and put something lighter in the inner portion so then it kind of like blends well. I'm not sure, I haven't experimented too much with it, but I do have some ideas on how to tone it down and make it a little more wearable for me personally and my taste. The Au Naturel I actually used and did the method where I just put it on the outer corner or outer third of my eyes and I really liked how it looked. And it wasn't really that dark either, so it was more of a like a mid-tone kind of color but a lighter mid-tone so it wasn't too dark on my eye. I did actually enjoy that one and I think that that one I will definitely continue to use. I only have one more month and originally my goal for this was going to be to try out the three shades this month or this past month or two and then pick a color to try and use up completely. I still may do that, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to use up one of these completely by the end of the year at this point. Next is my Kat Von D lipstick sample. Oh, oh my goodness. So this is the Studded Kiss lipstick and I am working on the shade Lolita and I am still not very far in it. Like I'm about the same place I was last time that I showed you. I only used this three times. So I used it one more time than I used the eyeshadow, but I wasn't wearing a whole lot of makeup, honestly, the past month and a half or to two months even. I don't know why. I just haven't been in the mood to do it. Today I am wearing makeup and I was in the mood to put on makeup and it just made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> um, so I feel like maybe I'll start hopefully wearing makeup more this coming month to try and kind of lift my mood um, up a little bit. I feel like it helps. I have the reversal uh, foil packets and I actually have three here. Um, I used up two and I'm still working on one. So the one I'm still working on is the exfoliating glycolic peel. And the reason why I'm still working on this is because really you only want to use it once or twice a week. And I've used it five, five times since the last update. And I feel like there's maybe just one, possibly two more uses out of this. And so 
I think this will definitely be done by the end of this coming month, my final update. This this will be used up. So I will finally, coming soon, use up this complete sample set that I got from Reversal. I'm a little sad because I actually really, really enjoy these products. And they're not something that you can really get from, you know, the drugstore or Ulta or Sephora. Like, I think you have to actually order from the site. And I don't know why in my mind, like, I don't want to do that. I want to order from where I get all of my beauty stuff from. So, I don't know. Regardless, the anti-redness serum, really, really like this. I used this, I used this four additional times to use this up completely. And then this one here, this is the Moisturizing Concentrate. This is the moisturizer step of, of this skincare routine. And this one, I only actually had one more use left in it to use this up completely since the last update. And I love this stuff. This is really, really good. Like if my skin's having a bad skin day and then I go in and use this, by the next day even, it's, it's doing a lot better. So definitely seeing good results from this. So these two are gone and I'm still just working on the exfoliating peel. Next is the fragrance. <laughs> I like this fragrance, but I have only touched it once, which is really sad and really pathetic <laughs> to me. Um, this is the Mon Petit uh, by YSL fragrance. Again, I love the scent of this, but I've been... <laughs> having some really weird like problems with uh wasps getting in the house like inside and for some reason I'm like oh if I smell sweet or if I smell I don't know have a fragrance on me it's gonna come after me I know I'm insane I do not like bugs especially wasps so this has been quite a traumatic experience <laughs> going through this but the, that's the reason the crazy reason why I have not been using my fragrance sample is because I don't want to attract the bugs. But going into winter time, hopefully that won't be an issue going forward and I can finally use this fragrance and really enjoy wearing it and smelling good. Last but not least of the items that I had previously, I used this up. This was a set of three Fakai, yeah, Fakai hair samples and it's their apple cider detox shampoo, rinse, and hair scrub. So the rinse was the conditioner, shampoo, shampoo, and then the hair scrub was, I guess, an exfoliant. And honestly, I hated the scrub. I don't know what it is. Maybe some people, that works great. And if, and if scrubs, hair scrubs work good for you, then I'm happy for you. But for me, it just makes my hair fall out. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like too intense for my scalp or my hair and... And I noticed after using it that um, I have a lot of hair that comes out in the shower and uh, it's it's not something I want. I actually am struggling with that a little bit and it has gotten a lot better. So I haven't had as much hair falling out or breakage lately. But as soon as I started using this, it happened. But it only happened while I used this. So once I finished this scrub up, um, it didn't happen again after that. So I definitely think that for me personally, hair scrubs just don't work. Um, but the other two products, the shampoo and the rinse, I think worked fine. I don't think it was anything that I would necessarily go and purchase right away, but it's okay. If I got these again, I'd probably use the shampoo and rinse, but I definitely would not use the scrub. Now for the products that I'm going to be rolling in to replace the three that I used up. So I used up two skincare and one hair care. So I went into my drawer and I actually couldn't find any foil packet sample hair care samples, <laughs> which is great, which is awesome. That means I've worked through all of them. So I ended up picking like a little mini deluxe size sample that I had in there. I've had this one for a while and this is the Sebastian Dark Oil. It's kind of hard to see because it's clear, but I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to use this, but I will look into it, see how to use it, and I might like put it in like after I come out of the shower to kind of help tame maybe frizz or something or make the frizz not appear once it dries. 
we'll just kind of see how this goes. I'm just curious about this product and I feel like it's about time that I use it. Similarly, with my skincare, I actually only had two foil packets left in my entire skincare collection. I only have two more foil packets, which is great because then I can introduce them and you hopefully use them up by the end of the year. And then by the end of the year, I can say that I have used all of my foil packet samples in skincare and hair care completely, which is a very big accomplishment for me. I feel like that was maybe that was the goal of this project. We'll go with that. Um, and yeah, so they're both serums though. So I think what I'm going to have to do, hopefully when I read the instructions, it will make sense to do it this way. But since I have two serums here, one is the Dermalogica Age Bright Clearing Serum. And I was thinking maybe I use this in the morning. And then the other one I have is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum, which obviously use at night, right? So, so maybe I use one in the morning, one at night, and then that way I can work through both of them at the same time. I'm not sure if the ingredients in them will be okay to do that, but that's my thought. That's my plan, and we will see how that goes. <laughs> so next update, I'll let you know how it all worked out and hopefully hopefully i've used up a majority of these samples and we can just end the year with this project pan really feeling good about it and accomplished and like we just completed it right that's that's what i'm hoping for so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and if you are doing a project pan let me know down below what kind of a project pan are you doing and what products have you used up recently? I want to hear from you guys. I love reading your comments as always. All right, I will see you all next time. I hope you all have a wonderful and beautiful rest of your day. Take care. Bye.